some days gate bossing is um it's more fun than others he likes his feet <laughs> this I don't but I'm about to hey y'all welcome back or welcome for the first time if you're new here happy to have you today we've shipped some calves we're gonna feed some more cows in the mud and see what else we can get into happy to have you give us a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time Go to the cell phone. Got some good help this morning. It was fun getting up, wasn't it? <laughs> it's a little chilly out here too. So um, this is a group of calves that didn't get sold with the big group that we weaned and sold back earlier and uh, back in the summer. Um, but, so we kept them, they just didn't, so they didn't really fit in with the other group, and so we've been feeding them to get a little more weight on them, and hopefully get a little more for them at sale. We'll see. Cattle prices are not great right now, <laughs> but the sale barn's been closed the last two weeks for the holiday, so I'm hoping that means people are there ready to buy some good-looking calves this morning. We'll see. <laughs> I only saw him put an Depends M. Depends on where to put the M. Put it on the rump, oh. it's the M1. If you put it up there next to the shoulders, oh. it's, a, it's a number two. Well, I learned something. Hmm. Then, what were, were they all, they were all M1s or M2s. Right. Okay. There's one still wearing 745. Yeah. Well, let's hope the market's up. <laughs> that was a big one. Well, we might get some snow tomorrow. And since we might, they put the brine on the road. We need some more precipitation. <laughs> Said no one ever. Got some good help here. Good. Oh, you're almost done. I mean, kind of. Okay. Well, thank you. Love you. You're doing a great job. Bleh. All right. Let's go feed some cows. Okay, y'all. Where is he? He's in there. Toro is still here. For those of y'all that were worried about him. He's here for a little while. He can't stay. He's a steer. We don't have any use for steers here. Steers get sold. But he did... He did miss the bus this morning, so we're going to feed him. He's in there with some girls, happy, right now. Oh. There's Panda. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. 
thinking about Panda. She was coming up from down there. She's often by herself. She's often set apart from the crowd. And uh, there's a lesson there. She looks different than the others and she's not afraid to be away from the others. She's secure in her uniqueness. And we all should be too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it hasn't rained in a few days. So it's gone from more like soup to stick. Sticky, it's really sticky. And slightly depressing. Hmm. So I'm sitting in the Suzuki waiting and there is, do you hear them? You see them? It's a bunch of like little bees. I'm really not sure if they're, what they are. They look like little honeybees. They're going nuts. What? So weird. Hello, Bonnie. Well, that forecast for snow is, was wrong. <laughs> it's not snow, it's rain. It's just gonna be rain, I think, so. Hopefully not much. It's a dark, cold, rainy morning for Elmo. Well, it's not rainy for you, buddy, because you're inside. But it's raining out there. <sighs> well, at least it's not snowing, right, Bonnie? <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing a little snow before winter's over. Doesn't look like we're going to get it. I think it's supposed to be pretty mild and obviously wet. It would have been a good day to sleep in, wouldn't it, Bonnie? Happy day, but look, the sun. Maybe it's gonna come out. Baby Bull is doing good. He's getting his breakfast. Yeah, need to give him a name, I reckon, since Hopefully he's here for good. Niagara is who he's out of, but I don't want to call him that. Hmm. What should we name the bowl? Well, I thought it was letting up, but it seems to be coming out harder now. <laughs> Trying to decide if we should go in and feed or wait for it to um, stop. I guess we're going to feed that little sliver of sun is now gone. Let's see if it's going to start up. Um, yeah, I see smoke. You can't see it, but I can. Maybe, maybe not. It's also time to push the plastic back again, of course. Nope, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to jump it. Bonnie and I are hanging out in the heat though. She's grunting, do you hear? She grunts a lot lately. She started to grunt in her old age. Some of y'all ask how old Bonnie is. She's around, um, well, let's see, eight. Just turned eight not long ago. I got her in, I think it was January, eight years ago, as a puppy. Yes. Yeah, it's not, not really letting up. <laughs> Some days, gate bossing is, um, it's more fun than others. That's really not today. <laughs> oh well. The sun will come out sometime. What do you say, Elmo? Are you getting feed? Getting feed set up? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boy. All right, buddy. Come here, you got some good stuff. Smell good, didn't it, Austin? Yeah. It's not up here, baby. Okay. Oh, 
good. It's starch or feed, sweet feed, but sweet feed, not cheap feed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is he tasting it? Yeah, he's just eating it. Well, he likes it, it looks like. Is that good yeah, stuff, good. buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Just Aren't said he ought to like it. Yeah. He just dug his head out. Oh. Let's see about this. <laughs> he's just drooling. If he ain't got nothing in there, give him about that much. Okay. Then at night, when you come out here, if you don't eat that, give him some more. Okay. But don't give him a whole lot to start off with. Yeah. I'll let him get used to it. All right, he's got one more little bag of milk to go, and then he'll just be on feeding hay. He's growing up. Elmo's growing up. <laughs> gotcha. Well, that's what happens when you put your face <laughs> down there. Okay, today he learned a new song at his guitar lesson. See if you can tell what it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you learn how to feed the cows? Here's something I found on the web. According to PurinoMills.com, oh, feeding gosh. dairy cows is both Purina. a science and an art. Owns Alexa. Hey, Alexa. I think you need to learn how to feed the cows. Here's something I found on the web. No, that's not According what I'm talking about. Good morning, Elmo. Yep, yep. We're getting in the short rows, buddy. Almost finished this bag. One more bag of milk and you'll be on your own with some feed. And hey, getting to be a big boy. Clara, gross. All right. Well, he's back at it on the back of, see what I did there? Um, Anyway, I'm going to try to move some troughs. Uh huh, y'all. Let's see. Um, the sun's going to shine today, but the next five or six days after that, there's at least 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 percent chance of rain. So it's just going to get worse. The mud is. So, anyway, I'm going to try to alleviate a little bit of, um, of an issue with these troughs. Here. Hey girls. This cows. And bull. Trying to get on hack. I see you up there. If there's a dirt pile anywhere, they're gonna climb it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mr. Bull. I think they're courting a little bit, maybe. Mm-hmm. Hey girls, how are you? Sorry, baby. I guess I scared you. Just cleaning the old feet out. Dumping it over. <laughs> Moving them around. He really is good with that thing, y'all. He really is. Some people have been wondering if you still feed Elmo. You do, don't you? Yeah. When do you feed Elmo? At uh, lunchtime or sometimes dinner. Supper. We call it supper. Yeah. Lunch or supper? Usually lunch. Watch out. I know. Watch out. 
she always has good help. Right? And puppies. <laughs> he likes his feet. Does Elmer like his feet? <laughs> oh yeah, he'll go for the milk too. It's like, yes, I like it all. I want it all. <laughs> it's all gone, buddy. It's all gone. She wants to play with you. <laughs> Elmo's kicking up his heels. Well, the boys have gone on a little trip today to pick something new. Well, new to us up. A lathe. Do you know what a lathe is? I don't, but I'm about to. It is a damn real. A forehead chuck. I see the four, four holes. Jaw four four jaw. Jaw. Three jaw in there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm. Okay. Well, I hope it'll be useful for you. You've been wanting this a long time. What's that called? Burr cutter. When you cut them off and take a thing, go around, it'll just shave it off. Shave it inside off like you cut a pipe or outside. You take a thing and just... <laughs> that's a bunch of bits. <laughs> this, is, this is like Christmas Day for you, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> well, y'all, I was just going back and editing some video from yesterday with the lathe arrival and I realized that my my video didn't take for some reason so I'm gonna show it to you right now so here it is a very very old lathe evidently this is gonna be helpful useful <laughs> we don't know how old it is um, is anybody familiar with this the Lodge and Shipley machine tool company Cincinnati Ohio USA he said it could be early 1900s. I don't know. Anyway, he's been wanting this for a while and a friend had it and was willing to get rid of it at a very good price. So now it's here on the farm and hopefully it's going to be helpful. <laughs> Can't wait to see it used. <laughs> Got to figure out where to put it, pour some concrete, probably said, and um, get it set up. So there you go more old being made new or at least use useful here on this farm <laughs> and before i sign off on this video i want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video about my me shed she shed <laughs> corn crib hopeful conversion you all had some great ideas i haven't even been able to go through all the comments and flag them and kind of get an idea of some of the great ideas that you had but I appreciate it I will be going through and reading all them and thinking about this and and what I want to do what I can do <laughs> um the first step is going to be cleaning that thing out starting with a clean slate and um really thinking thinking about exactly what what I want to do so thank you for being here. Thank you for your suggestions. Thank you for your thumbs up. If you haven't given me one on this one yet, would you? Thank you. All right. We'll see you next time. Take care.